All right, so the first build is gonna be the Dark Lock. It's fucking killer, guys. I'm gonna show you the short I made on it real quick so that you can understand the build. OP Warlock build for Baldur's Gate 3, let's go. Subclass doesn't really matter, but I recommend the Fiend. Take armor of Agathis and Hex for your cantrips. These cantrips aren't required, but the most useful. Important stats in order are Charisma, Constitution, and Dexterity. Nothing else matters. Level 2 spell doesn't matter, but I like Hellish Rebuke. For your Eldritch Invocations, Devil Sight is required. Agonizing Blast is recommended. At level 3, if this is the only Warlock in your party, you must take the Darkness spell. If Warlock is your only class, or you're going to multi-class into another spellcaster, then I recommend Pact of the Chain. If you're going to multi-class into a non-spellcaster, pick Pact of the Blade. Pact of the Tome is kind of ass, but if you want to play support, you can pick. If your whole team's using this build, start by covering them all in darkness. Keep your warlocks in the darkness and blast every motherfucker that comes your way. Any enemy that enters the darkness will get disadvantage on any attacks they make and advantage on any attacks made against them. Keep your party away from the edges of the darkness so that enemies will have to enter the darkness to melee attack them. As long as you have the darkness spell, this build stands on its own from level 3. This build wails ass and slaps cheeks, boys. You're gonna stomp through the whole game with this build. You basically take no damage. People can't come into the darkness and hit you. They can't shoot you from inside the darkness. So all enemies are basically useless. I think this is definitely the most OP build you need to grab and you can put it on your whole party and then they all are basically immune to the darkness. You're just a fucking killer. You are Batman. Your whole party is. You, you fuck ass. Easy build. Definitely take this build if you just want to breeze through the game. Next build is like totally monk or whatever. This motherfucker can hit a lot and he hits for a good amount of damage. You basically want to start this build by grabbing max strength and going way of the open hand uh, and then at level 4 you're going to grab tavern brawler and after level 5 you're actually going to multi-class in a rogue and level that class up by four as well. You'll then get the thief subclass on rogue and that's gonna give you fuck like eight attacks, dude. You're getting two attacks from flurry of blows just from bonus action. Thief will give you an additional bonus action, which makes four attacks. Then you're getting, I think three additional attacks from the monk subclass. So that's seven fucking attacks and they do damage thanks to you taking the tavern brawler feat at level four. Your strength modifier is gonna get added on top of that fucking damage. It's crazy. Later in the game, which is act three, you get the gloves of soul catching and boots of uninhibited Kushigo, and those are going to fucking max your build potential. You're going to be a deadly late gamer, and this thing is pretty fucking powerful in early game, and it just keeps getting better, boys. Definitely recommend this build if you want to punch a lot. Just fucking go full ham, fucking all raw, no rubber, boys. Yeah, baby. Last build here is kind of more of a simple, yet uh, pretty cheesy build. I kind of like it. I don't think it's as powerful as the others, personally, but it still slaps pretty good ass. This is going to be the Draconic Bloodline Gold Dwarf Sorcerer. You're basically basically gonna be a huge DPS, big AOE motherfucker uh, with a lot of HP. So you tank, I mean, there's no true tanks in this game. So having a lot of HP is a very good thing. And if you're doing the damage to like, you're, you're it's the best of world, both worlds, boys. Best of both fucking worlds. You're gonna keep your constitution really high. You're gonna max your charisma. Probably gonna wanna take something like performer or some kind of feat like that at level four so that you can get your charisma to 18. Then you can grab ability improvement at level so that you can get it to 20. You can also grab the feed. I think it's called Tough. Uh, that just increases your HP even more. That's the feed I gro uh, grabbed on this character. Um, and it was just kind of for the memes. Probably not the best, but yeah, if you want to have a ton of fucking HP, I have 57 at level 5. Imagine if you have Armor of Agathis on. Yeah, you've got like 70 plus HP at level 5. Pretty silly, boys. I recommend Fire for the Draconic Bloodline. Uh, I mean, just most spells that are fire-oriented are good. And there's almost one at every uh, spell slot, you know, level 1 level two level three and uh, fireball aoe at level three i like and they they're just big damage dealers boys but if you want armor of agathis for that extra hp you can take ice as well decent ice spells too but not not as many around level two three thank you guys so much for watching i hope one of these builds appealed to you make sure to leave a like because it makes my life you know get like 10 years longer per like so if you want me to live infinitely i mean a like would be very much appreciated also make sure to check out my beginner's guide here on the left leave a comment down below guys tell me which build is uh out of these three is your favorite uh, or maybe what your favorite build is outside of them i love to hear uh anything from you guys i oh, i respond to all comments so let's get chatting up boys and yeah uh peace and hair grease peace the fuck out